13 News Now is your back to school station. For families with school aged children, August is often referred to as the Sunday of summer. Oh yeah, it's time to finish up summer reading and gather those school supplies. It's also time to get back on your school year schedule. Mm. New at 6, Sarah Hammond tells us how experts say you can do that. Long pool days and late movie nights are memorable parts of summer. And as tempting as it is to soak in every last moment before school starts, experts say you're better off in the long run if you start winding down a couple of weeks early. Summer to school transition can be challenging because it, it doesn't just mean change for the for the kids, it means change for the, the parents. Sam Fabian, Community Outreach and Engagement Program Manager with CHKD, says now is a great time to start setting bedtime 10 minutes earlier every few nights leading up to the first day of school. If the bedtime's 8 o'clock during the summer, they're in bed by 7.50, for a few days, then it's 745 or 740 until you get down to that 730 bedtime. She also recommends keeping electronics out of the bedroom when it's time to go to sleep and starting to wake your kids up at their regular time. If they help get the breakfast going, they should be doing that. Walking to the bus stop or visiting their new school will also help prepare your kids. She also encourages parents not to wait until the last minute to try on clothes because your child has likely grown over the summer. And when you don't understand or, or you're thrown into a situation where you've not been given expectations or understand the game plan, you then become dysregulated and you have the inability to learn. And it's important to remember that all children are different in how they handle going back to school. For Jewel Smith and her son, they never leave their school schedule. I have four girls and a son that's autistic. Julian is her six-year-old son. She shares with her partner, Robert Higgs. You want me to hug you? No. She says for children with autism, keeping the same schedule year-round is vital. We have to. It's tough in the summer because he's looking for the bus. The first couple of weeks, he's waking up looking for the school bus. So we like, no school, buddy. We're on summer break. When it comes to their routine, Julian is up by 630 and enjoys his lucky charms and orange juice for breakfast. After a day of playing outside, bath time is at 730 and he's in bed by 8 o'clock. It hasn't changed. Something else that hasn't changed? His excitement to get back to school to see his teachers. He's been saying Miss Lindsay, Miss R. He's been saying their name. So we like, OK, a couple more weeks. <laughs> Sarah Hammond, 13 News Now. Parents are also encouraged to acknowledge any anxiety or fears your child may have about going back to school and work through them together.